Hey friends, Tux here. I got something super cool here for you today. This is a vintage turntable, model LPSC-003. This is available on Amazon.com, and I will have a link for you right down below. Now, if you're not sure what a turntable is, back in the golden days, before MP3s and CDs, there was these things called records, okay? And basically, you'd spin these on turntables to play music, okay? And a lot of people actually say turntables and records in general sound better than CDs, okay? And and that's a debate for another video. But this is something which I've been really dying for because I don't really own any vinyl right now. I do have vinyl up north, uh, but I haven't had a way of playing it is a problem. So I'm super happy that now I actually I have a turntable to play some vinyl on, which is really cool. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and open this up. Again, this is how it comes from Amazon in a regular kind of cardboard box. I think there's a box in this box. Let's find out together. Let's go ahead and open this up. Let me grab my scissors here and we'll go ahead and cut into this little turntable. There we go, I'm gonna be real careful not to cut it. Um, oh no, this goes right into the turntable, okay. So this is how it comes. And actually, when I got this from Amazon, this was like a box inside another box. So don't worry, they do ship it with lots of protection, which is very cool. Oh, I should mention there's some functions here on the side. I didn't notice this. Um, this turntable does play different speeds, three speeds for 33 and a third, 45s and 78s, okay? 45s are like little singles, and 33s are like albums or CDs, okay? And 78s really aren't used. That's like going way back to old-timey stuff. Okay, this does have two built-in speakers, an RCA jack with external connect. So that's really important because that way you can actually um, go RCA out into another system, perhaps a big stereo system if you want. Okay, a headphone jack, which is great, and a 3.5 millimeter aux input. So you can actually input stuff too. So really, really cool. Um, the other side here is a picture of the little turning table. Very cool. And let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, pulling this out, you can see it's packed very nicely. My dove is cooing in excitement because she wants to hear some, some cool tunes on this turntable. We'll go ahead and pull this out. There we go. Very nice. Uh, we do have some accessories here. We'll go ahead and show these real quick inside the box. All right, let's see what we have here. We have a little instruction manual. Very cool. We'll take a look. LP number one, vintage turntable user manual. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out real fast. Now, turntables are pretty self-explanatory. If you guys have any questions about exactly how to use a turntable, you can feel free to ask me in the comments or shoot me an email, toys at gmail.com. I'm happy to help you guys out, but that's something which I'm gonna leave out of this video. I think most people understand how to use a turntable, and there's what it looks like, and we'll go more into that in just a second. There is a SR code for you. You can pause that. Okay, and there is also a little flyer here, which is like just a little thank you. It's always nice when vendors thank you. I like that. Okay, um, also included is a power supply. And this looks like, is this like USB? Let me see. Um, nope, it has a regular, like normal power supply, just like that, okay? So plug right in, it's a very easy to plug in and give this unit power and bring it to life. And let's pull this off here. Very nicely packed, very solid. We'll take the styrofoam off. Here we go. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and pull the plastic off our little turntable and check this bad boy out. Oh, that's cool looking, actually. I like this. We'll go ahead and pull this up here to so give you an idea. Um, here, let me remove the safety plastic here so you can get the full experience of this beautiful retro turntable. There we go. Very shiny. I love the clear plastic. That looks very cool. Check that out. Definitely very nice. Um, looking at the turntable itself, let's check out the sides here. Um, the front here does have two speakers, two speakers built in, which is very cool. On the side here, just a nice wood tone. I'm digging that. On the back, we have a um, little couple little screws, adjustable. Again, talks about this is LP number one vintage turntable, model LPC. I'm sorry, LP SC003, nine volts DC. Okay, very cool. And on this side of here, we do have some little knobs and stuff. We have a volume knob here. Okay, so volume knob. We have headphones. We have power and out. Okay, this is like RCA. A lot of people call these RCA plugs out and a line in, which is very interesting. It actually is a line in. So very cool. And when we open the trend table up, you can see this does stay in place by itself. So very cool. This, it goes all the way down or it can stay in the upright position without having extra help. Now this is a belt drive turntable, I do believe. So you can see there's a little flex in here, which is very cool. And you know, it's a really nice touch. They actually include this little this little thing here. In case you're not familiar with what this is, 
I'm gonna try and spin this out here. This is actually something for playing 45s. Uh, when they made singles back in the day, they had a bigger hole, and this would actually go into the record, and then that would fit right on here and allow you to play your single. So very cool. But it's really nice they actually have like a little holder. So that is awesome. And the stylus itself here, we'll go ahead and pull this off. And this is like the little arm, which is very cool. And this is like the needle. Okay, so you want to remove this part right here. Okay. And then you want to put your record on. And I don't really, again, I don't have any records down here. Um, there was a record from uh, the, I guess it was from a yard sale or Salvation Army or something. So actually I borrowed this. It's not one of my records. Uh, this is old uh, Saturday Night Fever. That's crazy. Um, I don't really listen to this kind of music, but we could check it out for purposes of this video. And let me go ahead and plug this in so we can see it in action. Now one feature I didn't expect about this is the cover. Normally in record players you can't actually have a cover on when you're playing the record, but I noticed this has little grooves cut in here on both sides, so you can actually drop this down and you can actually play the record. You see it actually will spin with the cover on, which is very unique actually. So that's a really good way of protecting your music and actually being able to play at the same time, which is pretty cool. Now we'll go ahead and open this up here. And on the side here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. In fact, maybe I should show this to you again real quick. So you can see right now we do have the power plugged in. Okay, so that's the power plugged in. You see a little red DC nine volt, and this is the on off button and the volume button. We'll turn that up a little bit here and we'll try and play some of this classic vinyl. And I really don't know what this music's like. Uh, let me see here. Is there anything on here I know? Um, I mostly listen to alt rock. So um, this is like old weird disco music or something. So we'll just pop this down here and I don't want to take a copyright strike for music, and I'm positive that this Saturday Night Fever would definitely give me a copyright strike. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of play this here for you and show you, see, when you move the arm here, it turns right on, and then you can actually play. Oh yeah, we can't we can't have music playing, okay. I'll have a copyright strike, but um, you get the idea here. So it goes like that, spins around, the record plays. This record is pretty dirty because it's a pretty old record, but you get the idea here, guys. This actually does um, have this on, and it sounds pretty good, actually. Um, I'm gonna play this um, for a minute and check it out. I'll be right back. Okay, to recap, this has been the Vintage Turntable Model LPSC003. It's available on Amazon.com. And I love the features of it. I love the fact that it's built in speakers. Although, honestly, to get the best sound, I really, really appreciate the fact it does have RCA out. So let me show that to you again. Let me take off the record here. We'll just pop this in place. There's a little lock here. So you can actually lock your turntable arm in. And there is speed adjustments right here for like 45, 78, like we were talking about, and 33, which is what this is. Okay. Okay. Let me go ahead and shut this here so I don't damage my record, but we'll go ahead and pull this to the side here. And I, once again, I want to show you the side. So on the side here, we got great controls. Love the fact it has a volume built into the turntable. Um, a lot of turntables don't have that. That's really cool. Headphones, you can listen directly to headphones. There's the power, of course, RCA out, so you can plug it into a bigger system. And even a line in, which is very interesting. Why I would have that? Not all of them have that feature. So very, very cool. Um, very sharp looking unit. I'm definitely digging the wood tone. Uh, the kind of the retro little uh, grill in front with two speakers, stereo speakers. And it's really cool. You can actually shut the lid and actually have your record be protected on the inside. So really, really cool. Um, I would highly recommend this. It's available on Amazon.com. Click the link down below. Let me go ahead and open this up. We're going to play a little music here. Of course, again, I can't play because of copyright strikes, but you get the idea. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. Tuxtoys at gmail.com. I am here to help you guys, all right? All right, friends, I want to thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm going to go listen to some music. We'll talk to you soon. 